Well, hi, my name's Elliot Young. I'm from EMC Consulting, uh, the part that specializes in cloud and virtual data center consulting. And what we do is help clients on their journey to the cloud from a, a real everyday point of view. So we say, start out with the systems you've got in your enterprise and how do you move that into a private cloud scenario or perhaps into a public cloud scenario. And in today's keynote um, presentation, we looked at the first stage, which is to really understand the, uh, the setup of the environment and the systems that you've got. So across all of your data centers, imagine if you had a way that you could say exactly which servers are out there, what applications are running, and which other applications they talk to. Having this kind of information at your fingertips means that you can pick up one of those systems and move it into your new private or public cloud. And understanding those dependencies is absolutely crucial because from a security point of view, we want to make sure that we're not making any existing problems worse and that when you adopt uh, cloud services in the future, you can completely comply with the regulations that are going to be affected in that particular area. Now, some people came back and said, well, how can I do that in practice? It turns out there are uh, a number of automated tools and services you can get from third parties that go out and uh, have a look at the way your data centers are constructed and the way um, data flows between the different applications. Well, in today's session, we looked at four main different types of cloud. We looked at uh, private cloud, which is where the environment is run in-house for your own enterprise. We looked at public cloud, which is the cloud that everyone knows from the Microsoft side or Google side or Amazon type examples. We also looked at two other types. One is the community cloud, where an organization gets together with similar organizations to bring their processing into one place. And the last option, which uh, is actually the most interesting from this point of view, is the hybrid cloud situation, where you get the benefits of both private and public cloud. The problem with this is you need to architect a solution which is going to be able to run services in the private cloud and jump to the private cloud in an elastic nature. So how do you do that in practice? Well, these are some of the areas that we investigated today. Um, the key point to take away from this is that based on research from McKinsey, Gartner, IDC, we've come back and said that if you can get your systems running in a hybrid cloud type approach, you will get the biggest reduction in overall IT spend. And the type of targets we're looking there for would be about the 30% mark. So with respect to the concept of teleportation, we were talking about the goal of hybrid uh, cloud computing is that you want to be able to take a running service from a private cloud and move it into the public cloud. But the challenge is how do you do that over long distances? How do you take a running service without having to turn it off and make it pop up in a completely different uh, country or location or in your service provider's cloud? Well, in that scenario, one concept you can look at is teleportation. And the way teleportation work, works is like an extension of VMware's vMotion. But the good thing about this is um, the teleportation system picks up the data cache associated with that virtual machine and makes that available in the other locations that you want to copy your virtual machines to. And because that cache is consistent in every location, that means that the, the processing systems can run in a public cloud and still access data from the private cloud. This addresses a key security challenge, which is um, the fact that you don't want to copy all of your private most confidential data to the public cloud because there's a danger you could expose that to a greater degree of risk. So in this solution you're taking the bare minimum and still allowing uh, operation to continue in the public cloud and you get the benefits of hybrid cloud computing.